Hello, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2018 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. With me today is my special guest, Peter Herwick, Executive Vice President, Industry Business, Schneider Electric. How are you doing today, Peter? I'm doing very well, thanks very much. Really happy to, happy to have you here today. Happy to be here, thanks so much. You know, we all hear terms like digitalization, IoT, Industry 4.0. You know, what do those terms really mean for industrial companies in 2018? And what are the characteristics of industrial companies that'll thrive in this environment? You know, I think the um, uh, digitization is already in full swing in, uh, in the industrial environment. What we're really talking about is an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, productivity for our customers. At the end of the day, I think it is about value creation um, with um, um, enhancement of the operator with uh, much more um, a return on the assets uh, uh, deployed in the factory and then also much more agile management that uh, allows us uh, to to run the 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 assets the plants uh, the facilities uh, much more uh, efficient and uh, technology is helping us to uh, to do that you know Schneider Electric describes itself as uh, leading the digital transformation of energy management and automation how do you bring that to market with your industrial com uh, customers? The, um, you know, we say we are a very simple company. We do energy management and we do automation. And um, we really see a transformation of the complete energy chain in, uh, in, in the market. And um, uh, with, with that, in the past, you know, um, uh, electricity would just flow into one direction uh, from uh, the producer, transmitted, distributed to the end customer. And uh, that is significantly changing. So we've, um, uh, we have uh, prosumers out there in the market that uh, uh, create uh, electricity and um, uh, they feed it back into uh, to other users. So uh, current is driving forward and backward in the system. And uh, we believe that uh, there is no one supplier who can, uh, who can solve this complicated problem in, uh, by himself uh, because it's in the energy chain, it's uh, in the users, being the plants, the factories, the buildings, um, the, the end users, the data centers, and uh, we need to furnish um, what we say an architecture uh, to help our customers solve that problem, including a complete ecosystem of, um, of partners that are very local and uh, can deploy technology and uh, will give them uh, the respective tools to, uh, to do that. You know, Schneider Electric is very well known for its ecostructure platform. Tell us a little bit about that and how are some of your customers using ecostructure? Yes, thank you very much for that question. Uh, the, um, as I said earlier, you know, we want to furnish an architecture and that is really uh, ecostructure. The company's been known for a long time for uh, developing uh, a lot of products. Uh, to give you some example, we're, we're the largest manufacturer of, uh, of breakers. We are one of the largest manufacturers of, of drives. We are one of the largest manufacturers um, uh, of, of uh, HMI devices. And uh, we're saying these are products. Now, if you look at the products in the past, they were just connected uh, to uh, ele electricity, and some of them would maybe furnish information to an edge controller that's right above uh, the, the product level. Today we're saying these products are connectable products, so they can be connected directly not only to an edge controller, but also to, uh, um, uh, to the cloud, be the cloud on-premise or be the cloud, uh, um, a, a private cloud or, or a public cloud. And then uh, you can utilize this data that's, uh, that's out there uh, to transform the processes uh, that, uh, that you're in, making the, the user much more um, intelligent with, uh, with the data that's there, package it in a way for him that he can make a very intelligent decision uh, right where he operates the, um, uh, the plant or the asset or the building or uh, in, in the grid. Uh, or you utilize this information to, um, uh, to analyze it and uh, give uh, predictions on when, for example, a rotating equipment could, uh, uh, could need some service in, in the future or a pump or um, all these kind of things. So you're making sure that um, you're, you're supporting the life cycle of the assets that you have deployed. Uh, and then, of course, um, you know you want to make the, the management uh, uh, more, much more agile in their decisions, faster to provide them the exact data so that they can make a decision very, very quickly. And ecostructure is really the architecture um, that is um, uh, behind um, uh, that uh, design to, to make it work for the end customer. And one final question, you know, what advice do you give your customers when they want to begin their own digital transformation journey? Um, I would say start small, fail quickly, and uh, uh, keep on trying. 
and um, this morning we've talked to uh, quite a few customers and we said we give them um, uh, three types of advice how to how to start small and uh, one of the things uh, we, we said is uh, figure out what are some of the processes that you have that uh, where you spend a lot of money uh, where you have a lot of manual work established in it where um, you have the potential of making a, a lot of mistakes or something that is critical to to your um, um, uh, to your work and uh, try to digitize that process. So taking all the manual work out and uh, um, replace it uh, through uh, digital tools that that are out there, because the data is usually available in the um, in the plants and in the facilities. The, the second. Um, um, suggestion that we've made and we've uh, done this with machine builders or we've done this with uh, large plant users uh, we've um, working with them to utilize uh, augmented reality where um, we're basically with a camera look at uh, some of the assets or looking at the machine and you can virtually um, open the equipment you can open the cabinet uh, you find the drawings uh, on your um, on your pad or on your Google lenses uh, where you can um, uh, easily um, uh, uh, kind of maintain the uh, the asset or or do some work that um, uh, in the past would have required that you really touch the equipment and uh, with that you um, uh, you you increase uh, safety and uh, productivity and with that reduce cost. Yep, it's a win-win situation for everybody. A absolutely. Thank you very much, Peter. And again, this is Craig Resnick coming to you from the 2018 ARC Advisory Group Orlando Forum. Thank you very much. Have a great day.